right arm. There we go. Wow. The practice of bone setting has existed in Trinidad and Tobago in some form or the other since the early 1900s. Today, chiropractic is a highly developed science which is taught and recognized throughout the world as alternative medicine. The only problem is it is still not recognized by the medical board of Trinidad and Tobago. Chiropractic, is it quack therapy or legitimate health care? Chiropractic is filling a gap where people are suffering with severe back problems that obviously are not being addressed by the medical profession sufficiently, else they won't be in our office. Cairo means hand and practice is practice. So basically, the, the, the practice centers around using the hand. There's not any drugs involved in, in chiropractic. I came here in June 92 after a serious accident. Movements from my waist down were um, limited, and after seeing a chiropractor, my, um, I started seeing improvement in um, the treatment because they were planning surgery and so on before and I was sort of skeptical about it. You hear people talk about pinched nerve and, and um, subluxation, misalignment. All these things cause problems in, in the extremity, in the organs, in, in whatever part of the body that the nerve is going to. What we as chiropractors do is we don't claim to cure anything. We bring the body, the spinal column, into alignment, thus freeing up all the nerves and bringing the body into restoration from dysfunction. For decades, chiropractors in this country have been working alongside the medical profession, but hush-hush, unrecognized, illegitimate cousins. Some weeks back, the Medical Association wrote to insurance companies saying that chiropractic was illegal and any doctor referrals to a chiropractor is in breach of medical ethics. This is influencing the insurance companies who are using this as a way of not paying the just claims of their clients. Their position is they don't recognize chiropractors. Here, their position is, I don't know. Chiropractors do not claim to be medical doctors. They qualify in specialized private colleges. We don't go into the, in the direction of antagonistic to any profession. We, we, because I refer many patients, many patients to neurologists, to orthopedists, to general practitioners. To, 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 we don't go outside of our, our scope of practice. Our scope of practice is to treat the neuromuscular skeletal. You can increase the pulse rate. That is the rate at which the water is coming. We can reduce it. The massage here helps a lot. Recuperate the muscles to train to take the pressure day by day. And do, does it actually help you with the, when, when it comes to running? Yeah, so when you look at a guy that run a marathon, win three consecutive marathons, that'll be something I'll be side training. <laughs> when contacted, the medical board declined to comment on camera, saying several chiropractors had been taken to court and that the matter was now sub judice. But a member of the board did say that chiropractors are breaking the laws of this country, that they don't have a recognized medical diploma, and that they are practicing in ways that only a doctor should. Dr. Mohes suggests that the medical board's refusal to recognize chiropractors may be influenced by the work of quacks passing off as chiropractors. The profession of chiropractic is legally recognized in 53 countries around the world. Ira Mathur, CCN News, with a special report.